Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to continue our Persona 3 Portable Adventures. Last time, I do believe that we got to know the old couple of the bookstore, went and got more food with Junpei, and just just did a lot of things. We went to the nurse a lot, increased our courage a decent bit, even if uh, even if we we're still not up on anything, which I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. And also, even though we're tired, we are going to go to Tartarus, because we decided we were going to do that. I really need to make, like, a list of, like, things that happened and goals that I was working towards. But one thing that we might do when we get to Tartarus is, like, fuse some more, like, personas and then just try to accrue, like, get a bunch of shuffle times as we blaze a trail through Tartarus tonight. Let me double check. And we already talked to you on that front. So I do believe that we are going to uh, go to Tartarus tonight. And then I'll need to plot out what I'm going to do. As always, we shall initiate our combat save state. Paranoia, paranoia. And I'll quickly check out the velvet room and see. Oh yeah, because we haven't gotten a pixie in Apsaurus back yet. Huh. Wait, if we fuse Fornius and Nekomata, we'd get a level 12? But I thought we couldn't... I'm not going to do it, but let me just see. What the hell are you? At level 14, this unlocks media. Why is it a, Why is it that, up like, Silver Axe, Golden Axe face thing from Dot Hack? Weird. And then just because I'm curious, oh yeah, I forgot, nervous system. But what if, what do you become? <laughs> you become an angry drop face. Okay, interesting. Odd and interesting. Interesting, but also we can have up to six persona with us at a time. Very interesting. But since I don't want to lose any of my personas. I thought I had a Pixie Nepsaurus, but apparently not. Let's see, where do we start? Well, I guess we'll just resume from floor six. And we'll try to go as deep as we can while avoiding the Grim Reaper. Mean game? Why didn't my team come with me? Oh, Come. don't expect too much. Just wondering why they weren't in my party. Weird. But even though they are tired, if their performance is utterly terrible, I could, uh, I do have Yon be gone. But I'm not sure if it's like a super duper good thing to use, if it's rare. Because I think you'll... Like, I'm not sure how many is stocked. I probably should have bought more. But I'm not sure how many we could have gotten. But we'll see how our performance is. And, uh... If it seems bad, we'll use Yon Be Gone's if anything really comes up. It's a go. Die, fiend. Three enemies detected. They appear distressed. They appear distressed. 
Let's see. You're next. Let's go ahead and bash him down. And we'll go ahead and blast one of them. And I'll just normal smack you. Hmm. I need to pay attention because it specifically said Pierce attack. I assume that like my Naginata and Iori's swords are slash. Ooh, shuffle time. Give me Persona. Absaurus, we go middle. Huzzah. Step closer to doing things I want. Yeah, so far, tired doesn't seem like too much of a hindrance. Get back here and die, little shadow man. Two enemies detected. Strike first. Always strike. Two it enemies remain. Someone just go ahead and knock this one out. Just one more. Oh. I forgot because they're kind of distressed, they are like less likely to fight back. So I definitely shouldn't waste my SP on them. Another Apsaris, we go to the left. Get money! So yeah, if they only, like let's see, like this we don't need to worry about anything. They probably won't even attack. Three enemies detected. They appear distressed. So we'll just knock them out. <laughs> they just won't die. Let's see. What's your attack? A slash attack. With a super sword. I forget. Did I give him back his like other sword? Because we used like we used like one to. Complete a request. I mostly noticed because his sword doesn't look as I remember it. So let me see. Equipment. Junpei. Hmm. Versus the Kishido Blade, which increases crit, but it's low. So I'm going to give him his Juzumaru instead. Let me overall just look and see. We have nothing here. We have Rubber Soul. Which I don't know. Thick Souls. I guess maybe that makes it easier to sneak up on enemies. Of which I would wish it would just say, hey, better stealth on enemies. What about Yukari? You still know weapons for you? Because buying one from... The guy just didn't seem all that, like, good to me. Just looking through, high-tech sandals, which is still hilarious. And I guess I'll... Not, I'm not sure, like, how leveling up personas works just, like, having them in combat. Like, if I have them equipped, if they level up faster. Die. Two enemies detected. Like we'll take out one of them. Two enemies remain. Don't get careless. But we mustn't get careless. Last one. One enemy remains. Please hit! I couldn't defeat it. Smack him down. Who's the man? Who's the man, I guess. And we have the teleporter, which we have no real use to for since we began on this floor. And I'm not sure exactly, like, how that works. Like, if we get to a later, like, floor of the dungeon. 
quit running away. Gap it. Get back here and die. Three enemies present. Don't get killed. Yeah, I wonder if just like if you use the teleporter to get back to the floor. If you can then begin. The enemy has recovered. So like if we got to level Two seven. Don't get careless. If we could then go up. from level seven, yeah. use the teleporter, and then begin at level seven again. I don't know. Shuffle time. Uh, another Apsaurus left. Got some more experience. I wonder how often they expect you to split up the team. Three enemies detected. Strike first. Damn it. And I went to flippy dippy. We'll clear these out just so that we're safe. Has defeated an enemy. All right. <laughs> Grind and I see. More like we're trying to make more progress down Tartarus, because I'm not sure, enemy down. like, right. where we're, like, really supposed to be when. So I just figured, since we got, like, a request that was like, hey, get to, like, the bottom of this stretch of Tartarus, like, 6 to, f which is, like, 6 to 15 or something... And, uh, the deadline is, like, 5-7, so I felt like something's bad. Wait. There it is again. I detect a powerful foe above you. It's still relatively far away, but be careful as you work your way upward. Get back in, die. Three enemies detected. They appear distressed. Make them more distressed by killing them. I'll at least take out one, just in case. That, but since they are afraid... Yeah, I'd really annihilate them. Use that sword like a bat. We just gotta hope that things go good. Huh, you didn't run away. What the fuck are you? Enemy detected. Strike Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. It has a mask that I'm not familiar with. Okay, let me check. Corneus, what are your skills? Ice. Hmm. And your magic is six. But Nekomata... But at the same time, I will try fire on, or uh, a boofoo on you. See if that works. One enemy remains. Aggie. Nope. Garu. Gotcha! Here's our chance for an all -out attack. I'm gonna say no because it has lots of health. But now we know your weakness. Wind. Use wind. The enemy is weak against it. And strong against lightning. Oh, don't wanna waste our uh, spiritual power. Keep it down. That was a close one. Didn't even get shuffle time off that big guy. But we got Beetle Shell. Which I think we just needed one for the request. I wonder if I wonder if there's a way we can look at our requests in here, but it doesn't immediately jump out at me.
Weakling, prepare to die. Two enemies detected. Then Bufu Yu, if I recall. One more. One more. Schmeck. Die. Ooh, time for shuffle time, fairy. Pixie. Middle. Damn it. Somehow I mistimed it. I am a fool. I missed another pixie for my fusions. Hmm, little One cherub boy. Strike first. The enemy's weakness is Ah, weak to ice, are you? Poo poo. Beat him up. And while you beat up your enemies, remember to have Peach. Like that one JoJo gift. Shuffle time. Give me a pixie. What are you? All right, right. Angel. Nice. And what are you, Angel? A level four? Not what I wanted. Uh, no, uh, put Furnius back, but I want to investigate you. You are Justice. You are Garu and Patra. So dispel panic, fear, distress. And now I can deal wind damage with my bondage, Angel. Neat. Very neat. What the fuck? It just disappeared. I guess it was like, I cannot run away. So I shall run away. I wonder if the rubber soles would make it easier to sneak up on, like, the golden enemies. Like, I get the feeling they would, because they don't seem to do much else. Two distressed enemies detected. I'll attack them the least distressed looking. You attacked the enemy's weak point. Well, since it survived, I'll Somebody knock them both down. Beat up that small cherub. Shuffle time. Ah, and Pixie. Right. Now I have full personas. Three enemies protected. They appear distressed. I summon you. So boo -foo you. Attack again. One more. I'll swap my persona to Nekomata. And then Aggie you. Attack again. Get him. And then I'll just normal attack you. <laughs> and all out attack. Booyah. Triple kill. Uh, okay, go for the right. Another imitation katana. At least we can sell it. I leveled up. Huzzah. Got 74 yen. I do want to see. Heavy system. Ah, quest. Retrieve one beetle shell. Well, at least we got that done, so... Don't have to worry about that one, but now the other one is get all the way to the end. Are you alright? Don't push yourself too hard. The powerful enemy I mentioned before is getting closer. If you're not at full strength, then just return for the day. I wonder if that means that they're on this floor. Seems like a normal floor, but... 
knows. As I have Bufu, Aggie, and Garu. Like, all immediately available to me as attacks. Three enemies present. Don't get careless. But we mustn't be careless. So go ahead and boofoo one of you. Go ahead and smack you a bit. Since he'll go next, I'll go ahead and smack another. Enemies remain. Don't get careless. Well, you mustn't be careless. Last one. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Here's a Let's get him. Get back here, you son of a Kill him. Murder him. Gang violence him. In Japan. All right, go for middle. I think you. <laughs> because I don't want to summon fourth death. That would be very bad. Come on, Junpei. Get around the wall. I know you're tired, but that's ridiculous. You gotta be careful. Get back and die. Three enemies present. Don't get careless. We'll boo for the big ones and then might the little ones. Two left. Awesome. Yeah. Try and take out the two enemies remain. Don't get hit. Yeah. Major damage. Damn it. At least I didn't. Oh. Only one remains. You have the potential to grow even stronger. By making enemies run away. It would be funny if that was like an art. Making enemies run away. To power yourself up. Strike first. Well, boo hoo you all the way, goo hoo. Damn it. Fine then, we'll Aggie the other one. Yuri has defeated an enemy. All right. Just won't die. Then we'll smack you. One enemy remains. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Normal smacking. Save SP. Shuffle time. Left. Because we already have Epsaurus. Quit running. No running for you. You must suffer death. Please hit. Remain. Don't be careless. I couldn't finish it off. Try and finish you off, and then Last one. let hit. you take him out. That was easy. Oh yeah. Just gotta make it through. Don't know where the big old boss monster is, cause. I, like, uh, Mitsuru keeps saying, like, it's right above you, which is setting off my anxiety. It's like, is it literally the next floor, or is it, like, only at, like, floor 10? Into the corner you go, you fool. Two enemies detected. Let's see. 
Yeah, since you're gonna go next, I shall obliterate you. Get blasted with the power of fire. You exploited the enemy. I'll smack the other one. The enemy has recovered. You're very mean. Enemies remain. Don't get careless. Let's see. Who's next? You're next. I'll try to go for you. Booyah. Last one. Strategy. That was easy. For the power of strategy, I have come out slightly not dead. I wonder what makes some of them run faster than others. Oh, Jesus. Three enemies detected. Strike first. I summon you. I'll blast you two. Damn it. We shall try again. Blast you two. Right. Get blasted by the power of Hermes. Since she is next, we'll try and crit you down. Three enemies remain. Crit him. Please hit. This thing won't give up. Damn it. Well, thank you. You went for the wrong one. Please hit. Interesting, because... Huh. Kind of interesting. So if you have two enemies that are down, and you knock out the third, that doesn't go into an all-out attack. Okay, right. Give me. Level up for Hermes. And he got Rakuka Jaw. I need to look at their skills more. Make sure I understand what they can do. Because that increases defense, which is good. Assists an ally who's been knocked down. That could maybe be nice. I'll go ahead and put Furnius back in front. Just because I can. Where'd you come from? One enemy detected. You meanie! How dare you exist in my world! Oh, and he got frozen too. I wonder what frozen does. Explode. Shovel time. Left. Slowly build up monies for use in things. For the power of things, we can do other things. It's interesting that there was, like, a Cupid cherub willing to throw down. Like, so many others were afraid of me. I'm just making sure I have semi-full cleared. Looks like it. You're getting very close to that powerful enemy I detected earlier. I believe it's on the next floor. Be careful. We shall... Emergency save state, just in case. Of which there's now the emergency get out of here. Two distressed enemies detected. I'm not afraid of you. Get crit! Booyah. Shuffle time. Left. Booyah. But if it's on the next floor, that means the next floor is 10. And we get, uh, presumably if it functions like last one, then we'll get like a permanent teleporter. Which, if I really don't want to, Two distressed enemies detected. like, 
But the problem is I don't know when, like, my allies will, like, stop being tired. Like, worst comes to worst, I can use the, like, the teleporter, make a save and save state, and check out what the mini-boss level 10 thing will be. Presumably, because, again, we began on level 6, we've gone up a few. We already have you. I forget what the right one is. We'll go for you. Bam. Not bad. Not bad. Need to remember that that's what that does. A Patra gem. I forget. What is a Patra gem game? Uh, dispel stuff. Gotcha. Damn it. And we'll never catch you. I'm never gonna catch the golden slimes because I like maybe they do need rubber soles. Two distressed enemies detected. To actually like do stuff with. Just won't die. Two enemies remain. Last one. It's kind of bothersome that like they're like the game doesn't really teach you about the golden shadows or how to get them. Or even a hint, like, maybe you need certain kinds of shoes to be able to take them on. Just, like, nothing. I'd say left. Give me more experience. Oh, hey, it's a loop-de-loop. Play from me into a corner. Two enemies detected. Like at this rate, I'm probably going to be pressed into using a soul gym thingy to top up my power. Before bashing down the box. That was easy. That was easy. Lemon squazy. Two enemies detected. Strike first. Mm -hmm. it just won't die. We'll take you on. Damn it. Two enemies remain. Take him out. You made a weird noise, old cheerup man. But we shall defeat it together. Just ignore the blood. Left. Yoink. Another practice bow. Give me a good bow. We got, like, two swords for Iori. Nothing for anybody else. No running in the halls. Three enemies protected. They appear to strike. Boof of the big one, because don't want the big one to try and attack me. Even though it's not really... Probably wouldn't hit me all that hard. It's probably, like, the hand version... For these guys. Yeah, we'll go ahead and finish this one off. Last one. One enemy remains. One singular enemy remains. And now it no longer does because it is dead. Where do the shadows go after we kill them? Yeah, I got a revival bead. Ominous! It's like the game telling me I'm gonna die. I'll explore down here because I'm not sure if I did. If there was like... Nope. Forgot where I entered. Well, stairway we go. I detect three shadows in this floor's central area. Once again, you'll be facing a new type of enemy, so stay alert. A type of enemy that we won't be able to diddly-dang... And be able to analyze 
because you know that's fun. And let's stay at floor 10. Hands with blue masks, so I think Aggie should work. Well, let's try. Emergency save state. Let's beat him up. Good luck. Stay focused. So it could just be an amped up version of the hands. It must be guarding this area. It's strong, so be careful. Okay, Persona Nekomata. Let's see. I should have looked and see which one's gonna attack. Nope! Not Aggie. Let's see. Well, let's try and cleave. Nope. Finish it up. Why, you little... Well, I guess you should probably heal yourself. It's not Aggie. Then let's try Bufu. Damn it. Are, are you all right? Be careful. You're severely injured. Use medical powder. It's not wind. He doesn't seem like to be in too much danger. Let's just try a normal attack. Please hit. Damn you! Fuck off! Great recovery. Great recovery. Let me see. Because we do have Bash. Which I think is like a completely different one. Because it is Strike. Now let's try Bashing. Fuck off! Try just medicine on you. He seems to be able to tank in a lot. Let's try again. Nope, it's not piercing. So is it bash? Come on, bash. You attacked the enemy's Okay. So bash is where it's at. And once again, I don't think. Yes, the enemy is Here's a chance. Let's get him. No. Why not? The enemy has recovered. Now well, let's see. Say raise mine, please. And heal you. Because you have to cast from hit points for this attack. The enemy has recovered. Ah! is in danger. Alright. 
gotta do more bashes. The enemy is vulnerable. Nice. Keep going. You struck the enemy's Here's a chance. Point. Let's get him. Again, no. Why not? I summon you. Then let's heal her. God this damn it. Look out. Well, that's just a mean bastardness. Okay, if it's her next. Then assist an ally who's down. Let me see. Do we have a specific thing? B chain. I feel like this is the right choice. B chain. Yeah. You were very close this to being downed. Good. And got frozen. Is frozen. Cover her. Oh no, dot boo boo bash. Persona. You struck the enemy's awesome. weak point. Gotta back them down one at a time. You exploited the enemy's weakness. Attack again. Here's a chance. Let's get them. Because the thing is, like all out attacks against bosses doesn't seem to work well for me. I summon you. That at least limits how many times they can attack in a row. Her turn next. Let's see. If you don't have anything to really help except like normal medicine. Here. I wonder if just attacking an enemy that's on the ground would just paralyze them. I'm gonna try. Yes! Gotcha. Persona. Now I know how to really take Enemy you guys down. Now I want to stun this so. one. Stun party time. This is not good. And I'll just use this opportunity to medicine you so you can then heal me. Hang in there. To really keep us topped up. The enemy's already recovered. Rude. I summon you. Do not miss. Bash them all. But yeah, like, the fact that I'm dealing damage from hit points here by putting a gun thing to my head. Slightly worrying. The enemy's already recovered. Keep him down. Damn it, wasn't that didn't keep him down. I think this is more Please helpful. It. Nope. The enemy has recovered. Weird. Ooh, is in danger. Attack again. Nice. The main thing is. Hmm. Oh yeah. Here's Keep a going. Let's get him. Nice. Why not? Hmm. Again, I wish there was like an action timeline that told me like 
which enemy was going to go after next. You. The enemy's already recovered. Damn it, it's going to attack her. Oh, hey. Oh, that bastard. Takuba's down. Be careful. You're severely injured. Revival bead. Here. The enemy has recovered. Thank you for attacking me. I know if you tried uh, this on OG P P3 or Fez, you'd be at the mercy of the AI. Yep, <laughs> horrible people are lucky to be able to control the party. And even then, it wasn't really, like, revealed Here. to you. You had to dig into the options to find it. The enemy's already recovered. This is not good. Hey, are you all right? Takuba is in danger. Damn it, game. I would be in a better position if, like... Hang in there. If it weren't for the fact that you have to spend so much time discovering, like, the weakness to the enemy. Here. Because frickin' analyze doesn't work. God, you're an annoying little bitch. Come on, get up. Nah, fuck you, game. Load state. Because now I know what the fuck to do against you, you asshole. I do think it's kind of stupid to have this entire game basically be dictated by weaknesses and then go, oh yeah, we're not going to let you know. So you could entirely be going into a situation that's just very, very bad for you. And the game is just chuckling to itself. Ha ha ha. We're not gonna let you know. Ha ha ha. Which is just bullshit. Especially because... You might have to really dig through your own... Persona list. To figure out what the hell's going on. It's just very annoying. Like, I don't mind it's trying to figure so it out. But if it's gonna be, like, that important of a thing, you need to give the player enough time to really figure it out, you game. <laughs> Persona 3 equals trial and error. A wisely chosen attack. No! Which is just funny that they have the analyze feature at all, then. It's like we're gonna have you give you the ability to analyze. So well, fuck you, game. This is not good. You a bitch, game. You a big old bitch. Gonna try and attack him to keep him down. Now. Nope. is badly injured. Stupid game. Oh. Evil game. Not playing fair game. This is not good. Takuba is in danger. Stay sharp. Now I have to do this again. A wisely chosen I wish enemies could be tired. If you go to Tartarus on Saturday, it's all the shit, like, the boss, this specific boss gets tired. That would be funny. I'd rather not. I'd rather try to bash this one. Hmm. 
And like, I don't know, it's like it was weird that... Because I could have sworn that I had one down. Oh, it's probably because I got a crit. Oh, for crit. Nope. Probably should have healed. But I went for him instead, which is good. Heal me, and then the boy will heal you next round. Hopefully. Unless you good. die. Because the game's evil. Ah, the game's a bastard. Game super bastard. How dare you. Fuck off. You're not funny, game. I feel like I've missed more in this run than last time. No, game, you can't just say, oh, look, he missed. Yeah, he's a boss. Screw you. How dare you tilt in your favor after... Fuck off. Oh, you just so happen to critically hit one of me, but then conveniently not the other? Sure, game. Sure. I believe you. Totally not cheaters. And I basically have to do this because downing is pointless without bashing them a second time. You're injured. Can you heal yourself? And I'll just use normal medicine because game will be a bastard and just critical hit again. Look out. Fuck off. Iori is in danger. Yeah, I'm just gonna reload. This is just not fair, game. You a bitch. Why can't I smack him for advantage? They're just standing there. Let me smack him for advantage. Use the bow. They're just standing there. That'd be the most sensible thing. The enemy is just standing there. Yukari, blast him! The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. You attacked the enemy's weak point. I summon you. I just wish that, like, I don't know, Hermes had a bash instead of a cleave to really stick it to these guys. If it's him, we try to reorder things in my favor. The enemy's already recovered. Damn you. Double damn you. Use medicine on her so she can then heal me. I stand up and then use my bashes. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. I feel like trying to do this against like the AI with non-controllable allies, that would be like nightmarish. This is not good. Good, you hit the wrong guy. So I'm gonna try and get a crit on you. Damn it. Oh, but it made him dizzy anyway. Weird. I do not understand the mechanic. But the more of these guys I can make dizzy, the better. Then not all out attack because usually that just means they get up next turn only suffering a, like a normal attack of damage. This is not good. What even is that and why is it so like utterly horrifying that like it has to? Because like. 
If it's something like that, where it's like hits everyone but has a low chance to hit, makes me feel like it does a ton of damage if it does hit. All right, so double tapping an enemy who's down is meaningless. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. It's only enemies that are knocked down. Attack again. Here's our chance for an all-out attack. No. And cuz he's going to get up, then it'll be your turn. So I'll smack you down so that your turn is skipped. And we'll try to skip the other guy's turn. Good, you missed. Hmm. I think it would probably be better throw a heal your way so you can then heal me so we can continue bashing. Haha! <laughs> Two misses for the enemy. There is justice in the world. Ah, crit. The enemy is vulnerable. Nice. Keep going. I summon you. I summon you with gun. The enemy is vulnerable. Here's Keep a going. Chance. Let's get him. Huh? I don't know if like a dizzied enemy stays like dizzy if you all out attack him. Not good. And since I get attacked her, I need to heal you. So that you can then heal me. This is not good. Rude. Stop! Genuinely, stop! Now, strike back. That doesn't feel fair at all. You struck the enemy's weak point. Persona! It's utterly rude. A wisely chosen attack. And then keep you down, which might not do much. Because these guys good. only have one turn of being down. God damn you. Takiba is dizzy. The enemy has I sure do love being able to do things. <laughs> I sure do love being able to do things. Why does it feel like this game is punishing strategy? It's like, ah, you tried to do a thing, but still, fuck you. This doesn't feel interesting on that front. Just go in to this big tanky enemy. Like, sure, it could be that I'm not a high enough level, but it doesn't feel like you level up very fast. So it does feel more like a bash your head against the wall kind of thing, rather than engage it in good faith, which is a little lame. A wisely chosen attack zone. Sure, like RNG and stuff, but still. The enemy is vulnerable. Here's Keep our going. chance for an all-out attack. Let's so. see, who's gonna go first? You're gonna go first. Persona. And then take this opportunity to try and get a crit. Nope. Couldn't finish it off. This or like, or whatever good. it is that makes a normal attack. Knock him down for the count. Huzzah! Persona. Damn you! The enemy has Lame recovered. game. How dare you! Most lamest of gamest, making me miss. How dare you! Do let's see, heal me, nah heal you. The 
enemy has recovered. It'll be terrifying the day that actually lands. Let's see who's going first. You. Crit time. Or whatever that does. It does an animation, but then it doesn't seem to do more damage than usual. Maybe it's just like a crit spell guarantees that it hits or something. Hmm. Let us not. Let's see. You go first. I blast you. Now we shall strike you to try and dizzy you. There we go. No, not attack. Heal. And yeah, heal yourself. You seem to be the target for these guys. This is not good. Mean. Damn you! The enemy has recovered. Are, are you all right? Hmm. What item should I use? Still think like heal you, so you can then heal me. This is not good. Ah, good dodging skills. Hang in there. Are, are you all right? But I guess we can see what it's like to do an all-out attack against these guys. The enemy is I wonder what is optimal, like uh, an all-out attack or dizzying an enemy. Ah, oh, Becca. Might as well just restart because I'm gonna get annihilated there anyway. Too many misses for this tanky assholes. You exploited the enemy's weakness. You're not funny, game. You're not funny at this all. Not good. And I guess who? I guess you can just heal yourself. Try to tank. And I guess, I don't know. Try and go for a crit. Please oh, interesting. She actually him. runs around the enemies that are present. That's just a neat little detail. You exploited the enemy. I feel like a crit spell thingy. Like if it's a weakness, should automatically send an enemy into dizzy. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. Because again, it just doesn't feel like crit spell thingy or like whatever that is shows the face at the bottom the is even attack. doing anything. Let's well, let's see how much damage it does. This do. Unless it's a lot. Yeah, inadvisable. Because it puts them back up on their feet. No dizzying opportunities. And all it does is slight bit above normal damage. Granted to all of them. But again, does it... I wonder... We'll have to see how it interacts with dizzying. If we get the opportunity game's trying to mean. At least I have Bash at all. This does feel like I can get the enemy relatively down in health. But it's, I just can't really focus on a single one. Really. I summon you. Which is a slight issue. This is not good. Glory is in danger. Oh, because you knocked 
turn to dizzy. Are, are, are you all right? Eh, I blew it. You're injured. I feel like Can this is the perfect yourself? place for the bead chain. Here. And then we Talk pray. The enemy's already recovered. Can anyone help? This is not good. Oh, screw you. I hit enemies all the time when they're down and they don't even become dizzy. You hit him with his ability, like the thing that isn't even strong against him, it's weak against him, and that dizzies him. Shenanigans, I say. Ultimate shenanigans. Great recovery. Supreme shenanigans. Yes, the enemy is vulnerable. Attack. Again, I wish there was a battle timeline so I could actually tell who goes after what, and that's probably going to end me. The enemy has recovered. And it's extra funny, because I felt like I did, like, a not indecent amount of, like, pseudo-grinding before coming to this boss level. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. Like, I don't know. Something just feels weird with the battle pacing yes. the of leveling. Like, these things are a bit too strong for where they are in the game. Knock them down. This is not good. I guess we'll soon, soon spend the time trying to dizzy you. Definitely heal you. And now this might be the perfect time to see how you struck the enemy's that goes, because they're both dizzy and are going to come up. Let's see if going all-out attack brings dizzy enemies up. Would be very sad if it does. It does. That's kind of lame. It basically makes all-out attacks worthless unless... You're, like, on New Game Plus, so that you already have, like, physically strong, like, personas that are capable of actually doing decent damage through all-out attacks. Just kind of, kind of lame there. See, so you go first. Yeah, because it's just, like... You have this ability, the all-out attack. And now we're gonna make it useless. To just not encourage it at all. This is not good. Come on, get up! It's not interesting. Dude. And go in to the RNG realm. Will the AI decide to just nuke me from orbit or let me play the game? Make sure you can say go and grind, but like this game doesn't feel like it was made to be grinded except for the fact that the bosses are kind of evil. The act of like fighting shadows doesn't feel like it's rewarding in terms of leveling. Eh, fuck you, game. The enemy has recovered. Screw you. Might as well try and dizzy you. Huzzah! Let's see. I guess I can try and crit you. Nope. 
see. You go next. Again, I wonder what that even does. It doesn't do extra damage. It doesn't auto dizzy the enemy. What does it do? It just gives me false hope. With the wall of attack, I think it would have been more interesting if you could, like, if you played it right. And, like, uh. Dizzied, like, uh. Enemies in time for a all out attack. I feel like that would be. Should be something that should be rewarded. Like, they remain dizzy after the all out attack if they're dizzy in one. The enemy's already recovered. Because either that means that you have a bunch of attacks that are suited for that enemy fight. Or it means that you did decent gymnastics to dizzy enemies out for it. So I don't know. This doesn't feel rewarding in the early game so far. Which is like the worst place for something to not be rewarding. Because then I'll just never think to use it. And he's frozen. But luckily, he recovered. I'll heal you, so you can then heal me. Even though I wish I could give another shot to the RNG of hitting a downed guy. This is not good. But I wonder if, like, uh... Ah, panic. Use a Maypatra gem on Takuba if you have one. I wonder what Panic even does. Well, I'm still gonna try and bash. And then I'll try to use that one singular Panic Gym yes, to free up Attack. her because she's our main healer. You attacked the enemy's weak Here's point. A chance. Let's get him! Huh? Why not? Let's see. It is you, we shall bash you. We have Patra. Guaranteed escape from most battles, but won't do this. But yeah, our singular Patra gym. This is not good. Look out! Iori is in danger. I need to heal me so I can, like, dizzy him. The enemy's already recovered. Be careful. Iori is severely injured. Like, not much I can do about it. The enemy not really. Because, like, downing an enemy doesn't seem to, like, Mean much unless you dizzy them or all out attack them. This is not good. Damn you. That is way too powerful for an all hit. And if he gets his the turn, I might have to do my full heal. Takibat is in danger. Yeah, because basically now I have to try and dizzy this one. Damn you, game. And that basically loses me this. Come on, hang in there. I feel like they just went a little too hard on the difficulty for like the bosses. Or, like, these, like, mini floor bosses. Well, let's see. I'll use one Yawn Be Gone on myself. Because I'm the one that needs to hit the most. Everyone else is just... Attack, f or, like, heal fodder.
it must be. No, not attack. Bash. You struck the enemy. One more. Because that could also be it. But I was tired the entire time. But still. Well, diddly dang darn you, game. But even there's the point of anything if I still miss. I just wish that I had like a second bash. That would be nice. A second bash would be very nice. feel weird because like normal enemies up to this point were like negligible so just tired didn't feel like anything so the fact that like tired seems to only really be a thing for like recent levels or like uh boss fights just seems a little weird already recovered. Because, <laughs> like, all the way here, from level 6 to level 10 of Tartarus, it just felt like, oh, yeah, everything is great. Sure, I'm tired, but I don't feel anything. And then it gets to the boss. It's just, like, it made tired feel like a non-entity. Attack again. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Again? No. But then again, the fact that I almost I came this close to beating it while tired does feel accomplishing. Not good. From YouTube chat, hello, hello. They're trying to fight our demons. Hmm. I guess I'll give you defense. Just because I can. Or not attack. Heal me. <laughs> Which in a way is just replenishing my ammunition. The enemy has recovered. You go next. Smack you. The enemy is vulnerable. Nice. Keep going. I wonder if doing an all-out attack would be worthwhile here. Yes. The enemy Here's is vulnerable. Our chance for an Should I? Because now that I'm not tired, that might do, but... Mm. Nah, just so. use Bash, because I think Bash would do, like, more damage overall anyway than an all-out attack, because an all-out attack, I think, is just a series of basic attacks, where, meanwhile, I don't have a Bash basic attack. I couldn't finish it off. The enemy has recovered. <laughs> Rude. Also think it's a little shenanigan-y that these guys can just get like free like a uh, extra moves with a AoE random attack. This is not good. Because that basically means you want to spam them. Then again, the game probably would never give them to me. Because that would be mean. If we were able to cheese the enemy that way, that'd be bad. But enemy cheese the game, that's good. Eh, let's not do that, because again, Bash is probably doing more damage overall Iori, pull yourself together he got aoe though mitsuru is in danger be careful Iori is severely injured Hang in there. not anymore he won't be I wonder how the shadows are actually like attacking us physically or spiritually on what realm are they attacking us
And we got Mazio Gym, which is probably sellables. <laughs> so it seems to be for, like, bosses. Like, Chewing Soul. But, like, for bosses, it seems to be... If you're just going through Tartarus normally, don't care if you're tired. If you're gonna fight a boss, yawn be gone the one party member that can actually, like, knock down an enemy. And everybody else goes on heal, Dewey. That's what I think. Wait, you won? Yeah, because all I had to do was yawn be gone my main character, which gave my normal attacks just enough boost that healing duty everybody else allowed me to whittle away at them. So it does seem like you go through Tartarus even if you're tired, get to a boss, die to it a few times just to figure out what the optimal strategy is, yawn be gone anybody that can take advantage of that strategy to maximize damage, and that's it. That seems to be it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Soul Dilly D, what was that? Is it like second level power restoration? Oh yeah, melon bread. Bread with a faint melon fragrance. I wonder what we even do with it. So it wasn't a... Is it a key item? No. Is it an equip? Because there's use, key, equip. Because there were other things that we got. Chewing soul. Moderate respores SP. Knew it. But what about those, like... Mazio gems. They're probably just sellables. Mazio gem. Oh! Deals light electric damage, shocks all foes. Huh. Neat. But since we beat them, I'm gonna call it. Try to get everybody, like, not tired again for a race to level 15, I'd say. Because now that I know how that roughly works the optimal strategy. I feel like I can roughly do it. Let's see, is there any... Well, first things first. Oh. Ah, there we go. You seem to have completed a request. Just a moment while I check. I see you brought me one beetle shell as I requested. Thank you. Aren't you curious why I made such a request? Well, I should leave it to your imagination. Please accept your reward. 12,000 yen! Hell yeah. I'm gonna want for nothing ever. I'll leave that off just in case, but... Yeah, next we'll... Once everybody's not tired, probably go and try... Getting to level 15, if possible. Well, let's see. Pixie plus Angel equals a Chariot, which I don't think we've had yet. Oh, yeah, that guy. That weird little guy. Gives a heal. He also has Bash, which wouldn't be terrible, I don't think. Then again, like, if we fused Nekomata with Furnius. We get Garu, Cleave, Patra, Posamudi, or like we can pass Cleave on. Or pass Bash on. Like Orpheus does have Bash, but Orpheus is also a low level Persona. Because I've been neglecting them a bit. So yeah, when we get everybody up and good, I'll probably have to... Or like, we'll want to do grinding from level 5 to 10 to 15, probably. So yeah, we could probably fuse, like, Nekomata 
Like, maybe with Angel, but, uh, well, Angel is a random drop. And that gives us Hero Fant. Oh, it can also get... Like an evil pixie. But I'm kind of interested because this would give me a level 12 persona. I'm not sure if, like... Then again, I don't think we can do that. I think we're stuck at, like, level 9 persona. But, like, if we could, we'd get, like, a... Or maybe that's a different thing? Maybe that's a different thing. Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't know. Things are weird. Because... But I kind of want to fuse Nekomata. But then again, we don't have a hero fant. So fuse Nekomata with Angel. Get you. Then fuse Pixie and Epsaris to get Nekomata back, I think, is the play. Patra and Possum Moody. Hmm. Patra and Possum Moody. Patra and Provoke. To see what, like, kind of rerolls we can get. Cleave and Provoke. I think getting those would be good. What's Zeo? Deals electric damage, and then heal. And I think, I think that's good. The corresponding social link is level two. This persona will receive at least some power from it. Is this persona acceptable? Give them to me. Now we have a nervous system. I am Oimoikan. Omoikane. You and I are one in the same. The old couple social link confuses Omoikane with power. He's about to level up. And he gets Enradi. I wonder what that is. At least I assume he gets it. Then, Pixie and Epsaurus. Hmm. Do we want to give you Dia? We already have, like, other Dia. Is there anything, like, else to pass on except Dia? Doesn't seem like it. Well, guess you're getting Dia. And then we just need to work towards... Well, then again... Well, hopefully by the time we want to fuse more in the f future... We'll be able to... Do that retrieval thing. To really put personas out there. Well, I want, unless I want to go Nekomata Furnius, the problem is, like, Nekomata has Cleave, which is just nice to be able to have, like, a heavier firepower thing, anything. Oh, I wonder if, like, the six. I don't get the six. I'm just trying to figure out the dot thing. Chimera. Neat. We get a lot of things. Yomatsu Shikome. Well, that's horrifying. Looks like it's wearing a dunce cap. <laughs> Do you know about the Persona Compendium? You can buy past Personas you've had for yen. Like, I think I heard something about that, of getting old Personas back. 
easier than just finding and fusing them again. But uh, we don't have it yet. Hopefully we'll get it soon, because that would be very nice. <laughs> but yeah, we got to level 10, which is very nice. We'll go ahead and save again. Hopefully, like, these two don't get sick from our adventure, but we made decent progress, and I think that's what I should aim for each time. Try to get to the next boss level. So I was... <laughs> so despite... So I kind of made up for it to a degree, in a way. That we have gone into Tartarus, like, three or four times, and now we're at the second point. And so that person put it... Yikes, we're at school already? It reminds me, it's gotten so warm lately. Well, I guess today's the start of May, after all. <laughs> Time flies. Seriously, a lot's happened. You know, it doesn't seem like the number of apathy syndrome cases has been decreasing lately. We're the only ones who can fight the shadows, so... I guess we should train more so that we're ready if anything like that comes up again. Me especially. I don't want to be a burden on everyone else. Well, come on, let's go. Akihiko sans at the hospital getting a checkup. I guess because his rib has been broken still. He called me earlier and asked me to bring him something. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He knows who to count on. <laughs> he only asked you because you don't have anything else to do after school. Harsh. Hey, I resent that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, what do you want you to bring? A real gun. A class roster for 2E. <laughs> What's he want that for? That is interesting. Well, I don't have practice today, so I'll go with you. You're coming too, right? I'd say definitely. Cool. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Is there a problem? Well, well, it was me he asked. But we can all go. So solidarity. He has like an urn in there. Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. An unfamiliar young man is here, sitting on the bed instead of Akihiko. Did we come to the wrong room? Who are you? You look kind of neat with your jacket. Your beanie. Uh is Akihiko Senpai in this room by any chance? <laughs> Junpei is like this guy's giving off weird vibes. What are all of you guys doing here? We decided to all come to deliver the class roster. I don't know, it's like I know these probably don't matter too much in terms of like word selection. I don't think it would change too much, but, like, I came along with them. Seems a bit, like, I don't know. We came to see you. I'm just here for a checkup. Is that it, Aki? Ah, he has a... What's the word? A nickname. They must be close. Is that it, Aki? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I don't have time for this shit. Ooh, I think that's the first, like, curse word in the game, which is hilarious, considering... Like, Junpei cuts himself off, and the other one's like, <laughs> Get back here, you son of a... Meanwhile, this guy's like, I don't have time for this shit. You. He's looking right at me, staring into my soul. The young man was on his way out when he stopped and looked at you. Never mind. Weird. What do you mean, never mind? Who was that? A fiend. From YouTube chat, it's him. Well, that's ominous! A uh, friend from school, sort of. Is he the one that gave you that bandage after clobbering you into concussion in the boxing club? You know how the number of apathy syndrome cases have been increasing? Yeah. Well, he knows a few people who are suffering from it, so I was asking him about it. Interesting. But he also had a nickname for you, Aki. And, like, seemed a little bit of passive-aggressive there. I don't have time for this shit. Hmm. Hey, Junpei, did you bring what I asked? Of course, senpai. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. No trouble at all. Well, then, let's get going. Uh, you shouldn't move your arm. Yeah, it's nothing. You still shouldn't move your arm. I've wasted enough time already. I need to get back to my training. By the way, senpai, why boxing? I want to punch shadows instead of using swords or katanas. You mean, why did I choose that sport? Well, it's not the sport itself I like. I just wanted to learn how to fight. Interesting. I know what it's like to feel powerless. 
Ominous. And I don't want to feel that way again. Besides, I'm curious to see how strong I can get. It's like a game, only I'm competing against myself. He is Goku. Well, that's an interesting way of looking at it. You know, I'm into games too. But actual games, not boxing. Yeah, video games. Self-referential humor? Oh, but I like fighting games too. <laughs> that's only like 0.01% closer to actual fighting, Junpei. <laughs> Whatever. Welcome back. A long weekend is coming up, so I suggest we go to Tartarus. We were just there. I think everybody is tired. Probably shouldn't. Like, I'll, we'll wait and try to f see if everybody gets better. Maybe if I can buy more Yon Be Gone. It may take some time for Akihiko to fully heal, and I don't want anything like that to happen again. Besides, the number of victims seems to have been increasing. I have a bad feeling about that. We'd best muster as much strength as we can. Maybe. It said Akihiko went from his this to protein shakes in the spin-offs. Thank God the spin-offs aren't canon. Uh, so they kind of butcher his persona. Or like a personality later on. That's kind of sad to hear. The tactic act freely lets us do whatever we want. So don't worry. Heal, support, attack, whatever you need, we got your back. Huh? Which enemy would we attack first? That one that's about to die, of course. Listen, if you don't know what to do, just choose act freely. Man on the street interviews. Tell us, how are you spending your golden week this year? Um, uh... And that's the latest word from the man on the street. Now back to the studio for more news. Do you think the person who was in Akihiko Senpai's room is his friend? Hmm. He had the nickname, so I'm gonna say I think so. Akihiko Senpai said that guy goes to our school, but I've never seen him there before. He's a ghost. First, what's everyone's status? Oh, that doesn't tell me much. Talk. Akihiko is still having some tests done. He should be back tomorrow, though. Let's see. Status! She's good. So they're both good. They're both good. We saved. I'm gonna see, uh... Ominous! Great. They're spreading to here. We might go back to... Like, buh buh buh. Yeah, they're spreading. Nothing else new. We'll try, we'll just check out, uh, well first let's see, is the pharmacy open? Hey, pharmacy is open. I should probably buy a few of these. Definitely need more of you. I guess we'll keep one of you on hand just because we can. But yeah, whenever I see kind of like these zombie looking motherfuckers, I just like. <laughs> I want to make sure they don't say anything weird at like. Like from the get go. I got some new things in. Take a look. Hell yeah. More attack, lower hit rate, but more attack is always good if you ask me. Let's check everyone. Siren song? Well, couldn't we get that, like, for a quest? I'll have to look and see. Great sword. Ooh. These are all, these all look really good. <laughs> Bulletproof shirt. Firearm resistant vest. Are we gonna run into enemies that shoot us? Inline skates. Very interesting. 
but just like the fact that bulletproof shirt exists scares me. Like, then again, it could just be like the camo shirt, and that's just like flavor text, but still. Hmm, but like. What about accessories? Prayer beads, low chance for death, a uh, revival chance from death from darkness, from light induced death, and then increases various damages, which probably might be good for strategy, but I'm a dumb. I forgot to check to see what to sell, but. Uh, I want to check and see. Requests. Because, yeah, bring me pine resin. God, I only... And I forgot, like, that only shows up, like, on certain days. I... What do you mean I can't take it? Oh, it's... Oh, because already, I've already taken it. Hmm. But I don't know where to get it. Hopefully I'll have a chance to, like, wander around the... school tomorrow. I currently have a 20 HP. So that's a lot more damage. <laughs> Some quests Elizabeth makes you do are like taking her to places like a date. That's funny. She does want to see them all, which is one that we might do if we have like free time and not much else to do. But yeah, I think I'll buy this because that's a nice increase in damage. This also is a nice increase in damage. We won't get that because we can get that from a quest. And I hope that we can do it. Let's see, sell. Is there anything like these practice bows? We can sell those. These imitation katanas, we can sell those. We'll keep those just because we can. Mazio, like, that could be a nice emergency thing. Apparently he doesn't care for the, the cards. Now let's take a look at... Because I don't need any of those, but increased evasion sounds nice. Because six. So, like, 6,000, 12, 18, 19 ish thousand to get everyone in line skates to increase agility. But that would leave us with hardly any money. But that would leave us, like, really, really good. And, like, hell, we're all good. We could probably immediately run to Tartarus if we really wanted to. Try and clear Tartarus to level 15. Then Yukari. Get 
Get that evasion and agility. Because, like, what games are available tonight? Mirror House or Horror House, which, if it's anything like the blah blah blah, the trivia one would probably increase courage. But since everybody seems good. I shall go ahead and go to Tartarus tonight. Make our everything is fine save state here. So yeah, let's go to Tartarus again. Try to get to the boss of, like, level 15. Let's go. Onwards we go. The shadows there seem different. If you think you're strong enough, if you could split the party up and have everyone fight individually. It might be a little risky, but everyone will gain experience quicker. However, if enemies are too tough, then it's better to stick together. Think carefully before you decide. Help! The experience you gain when you win a battle will be shared amongst those in your battle party. So the fewer members you have, the more experience each will gain. However, the risk is higher. Consider the strength of your party members as well as your knowledge of the enemy before making any decisions. I probably should have started, like, lower down, like at level 5 and then go up. So that we could do that. Then again, let's see. How weak are these guys? Who the fuck are you? Enemies detected. They appear to Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Get schmecked. All right. My guess was try Bufu on you. And we miss. Now, you know what? Let's go defensive and try to get the analyze. So, weak to ice and fire, strong to electricity. Good. Blast them. Shuffle time. Let's get Epsaurus back. Like, maybe I should do that. Let everyone go individually, because they seem all pretty weak. <laughs> Apparently they would freaking destroy Aki. That's hilarious. Stufel time! Well, we can get Angel back. You know what? Split up. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Because these guys are all weak. Two enemies detected. Strike first. Damn it. Get crit, asshole. Keep up the good work. Stufel time. Solo stufel time. And again, I should probably put Orpheus in front, because I want to level up Orpheus. He's my boy. Get back here, coward. You deserve to die. Horrible deaths. Two enemies detected. Great 
job. Okay, we want to go right. Give me that bonus. Orpheus is leveled up. Oh, no, that's just the item. Oh. <laughs> I guess my allies aren't hunting down enemies. They just pass them by. Bash him. Mack him, smack him. How are you fighting in your normal clothes instead of the cease uniform? You know, I haven't really thought about it. It just has happened. I don't know. Keep up the good work. It just happened. Well, let's go with middle. Meh. Wait, I, I genuinely do not know why. Let's see, I was gonna look at a thing, and then I forgot. I wonder how they're going. They're gaining experience. The one downside uh, about splitting up is it fills in the map for me, too. Ah, oh, man. I got caught. Now let me help you. Because I'm right one here. Enemy detected. Well, that's not good. Oh, that's not what I want at all. Stay it's stuck sharp. on defend. Because we were <laughs> eking out their diddly dee. All right, left. Mine. Mine. Practice bow. You dare. Loot! Check out my fat loot. I probably should have healed before coming in here. One enemy detected. That's uh. Well, they're also weak to Aggie. Chosen attack. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Let us do get them. Oh, I like that. There's different graphics for double or trio. Lots of stufel time. Ah, level three. Meh. Dang it. I got too greedy. I didn't want to wait another the uh, loop de loop. I art the fool. Well, at least you're scared. Come fight me. Two enemies detected. Strike first. Always strike first. I probably should not have done that. This isn't good. Your help. I'm playing too fast and loose. Push yourself. I have high hopes for you. Yeah, except that's how damage happens. Oh hey. Maybe this will heal me. Surge of energy. I have level dupe. You seems the uh, another change is about to occur within you. You can now store up to eight personas! Oh! Ooh, short bow! Hell yeah! Finally! Alright! So now I need to take a pixie when I find him. Oh, is that what it is? This is armor! There's armor that's normal clothing. Because, yeah, I was doing the old couple, like, uh, social link. I went to level 2. And, uh, I believe that that... Everyone, like, to the uh, meter. yeah, that, that, that must be what this is. Hey, another short bow. Finally, at least something. It's not like the greatest, but it's something.
And also, we beat the level 10 Tartarus boss. I detect a great source of power on the 14th floor. Be careful. Hmm, let's see how scary you are. From Twitch chat? Howdy, how are we doing tonight? I'm doing good. I forget. Use Garu's skills against the enemy. I think I have lightning in here somewhere. Ah, Zio. I'm doing well-ish tonight. I haven't drawn or written much lately, which is sad, but oh well. But... Oh. Thought it said, game, did you lie? Use wind. I need wind. I'm, I'm double full. For some reason, my brain like, ah, just completely misread. From YouTube chat, and all Aussie... Uh, consider high floors in Tartarus. There are stronger enemies, and you get more experience, and the cards might go up in numbers slash value. Not to mention stronger personas. That's kind of why I wanted to kind of go even further. Since it felt like we were kind of slacking. <laughs> Another muscle drink. I'm not sure how much I want to split up with these, like, aggressive enemies. But then again, these ones aren't that scary. It's mostly I don't want Yukari being annihilated. Hmm. I guess... Split up wouldn't be bad. Spread out and proceed individually. Wouldn't be terrible, especially as I go on ahead. Damn you. Stop it. You. Oh! Bit here. Two enemies detected. And plus, we picked the perfect time to do this because. The policeman got new weapons in. Because it was the first of the month, duh. Die. Two enemies detected. Strike from Yeah, aside from like slight annoyance of uh fighting the level ten floor boss. Things have been quite nice. I was so scared it didn't even try to run. Two enemies detected. I fear the day I run into a four striker enemy when alone. I just recently finished Persona 3 F uh, FES. As good as it was a long game, 98 parts it took me. Wow. I think we have Epsara, so I want to go middle. I also forgot I need to, or like, I want to put Orpheus in front. Yeah, we have Epsara. Good. I wonder how, like, uh, since FES is the one that has, like, the answer epilogue, I wonder how much that was part of it. Because from what I remember being said while I was doing my research, the answer is, like, 28 hours with... Two hours of story. And 26 hours of grinding. Well, that's just what I heard secondhand, so who knows? Could be exaggeration. Die. Enemy detected. Use Do I even have Garu for many of you? I don't think I do. Oh, I'm not. We do. From Angel. 
One enemy remains. Garu. You attacked the enemy's weak point. And apparently all the story is for the answer is Yukari being an idiot. That's kind of sad. This is not good. Die, Beetle Man. Shit. Beetle Man, die. Awful time. Actually, we want Pixie. Because we have room for Pixie now. Meh. <laughs> Enjoying Tartarus, says Twitch, or asks Twitch chat. For the most part. Like, going through normally is fine, but like, uh, the floor bosses of like, five, ten, and presumably fifteen or... 14 or whatever it will be. Are like, uh, kind of shenanigansy. Like, again, I still protest the fact that you can't just analyze floor bosses. That just seems like a weird decision to make for no real reason. And plus, like, uh, a little bit of the, uh, what's the word, like, uh, trial and error gameplay leading to many reloads. It's just like, I think I made the best choice of, like, version, if that's the case. Right. Because with it being on emulator for me, I can make nice, quick... Reloads. If the game decides to be a bastard. Everyone, return to the leader. Onwards we go with. I detect a great source of power somewhere above you. It's stronger than the one I sensed before. Stay alert. We might not fight this floor boss, but well, we can fight it and see how it goes. One enemy detected. Rude. How dare you? One enemy remains. Got her. I guess trial and error game uh, going to be norm for bosses. Yep. Trial and error is going to be the norm. Stufel time. Let's, let's go left. Meh. Meh, you see? more of those beetles showing up, I'm a little afraid for uh, splitting up. <laughs> Pay no attention to my comment because you're more than welcome to play in your own style, but at this point I would highly recommend fusing your personas. Oh, I have been! Because, uh, we got, a well, we got Angel from picking him up, but then we also got Omoikane by fusing, I think, Nekomata and Angel. And, uh, yeah, we've been, like, lightly. So we're probably going to fuse Nekomata with Fornius. Or, like, uh, or maybe Fornius and Angel and just, like, uh, throw things together. When we get to a certain point. But, yeah, with less, like, afraid enemies. One enemy detected. I think we should stick together for a bit. Let's not do that. This is not good. Rude. Get winded, bug. Here's our chance for an all-out attack. 
now we can beat him up, because he's guaranteed to die. Stuffel time! Right. I am the winner. <laughs> I am the win roar. I am the win bing bong bing bong. Two enemies detected. Strike first. I always strike first. And then I strike last. And I also strike second. Actually, we'll just shoot him with a bow. It'll give up when it's dead. <laughs> Junpei with the berserk sword. True, ain't it? Left. Mate! Die! Die, Satan! Two enemies detected. Just one more. Wait, I'm just afraid of letting my allies wander around with fight the beetles. They're big and tanky, and I'm afraid that Yukari will just let herself get annihilated by the bug if I am not there to wrangle her in and tell her, hey, use the type effective magic for soul power. Soul magic. S bleach. Did you not learn how to teleport away from your golden friends? Too bad for you, you get to die. One enemy remains. Not bad, huh? Die. It's always the dumb beetle! One enemy remains. I can do it. Blow him away with hurricane wind. Here's our chance for an all out attack! Fighting a giant beetle would be horrifying. It's already bad enough that they're tiny. Stufel time! Right. Yeah. Give me more money! I probably should have gone for the heels, actually. Hey, right, it's been a while since we've fought you guys. Or should I say, it's been a while since we've killed you guys. Full time left mine. Give me all these practice bows make me look bad. Die. Three enemies detected. They appear distressed. And we will kill them all. Then there was one. Not bad, huh? Not a bad to haul. Not a bad to body. Rash guard? What the fuck are you? A highly elastic shirt. Have we... would anyone do well for that? Well, I guess... No, Rash Guard is four less. Hilarious. Enemy spawn! Enemy die! Give me more stufel time. Nice. 
How much money do you have? I had like 33,000 and that's why I was able to buy the newly acquired Mei sword and Naginata and inline skate shoes for everybody. So like Naginata for me, big sword for Junpei, inline skate shoes for everybody. And then I didn't get uh like the bulletproof vest thing because it wasn't that much like defense up for how much it cost Are you all right? Don't push yourself. I will push my hand. I feel spent. And you just guarantee that we're not going to leave this place until we get to Oh yeah, I forgot. I detect one sh one shadow. It's relatively strong, so be cautious. Oh boy. And uh, combat safe state. Well, that's horrifying. Oh, level 14 instead of 15. Well, let's make sure that we're all ready. We'll put on Corneas, because I think he's my best persona. I can probably help you figure out its weakness if you want me to. I definitely wouldn't mind that, because, like, I still find it weird that we can't just analyze these things. You can win. I'm certain of it. It seems you've attracted the Guardian's attention. Its arcana is the chariot. Well, that means nothing to me. Let's see. Boo hoo! Alright. Uh, how about Aggie? You're metal. Maybe you'll melt. Couldn't finish it off. Huh, that didn't do as much damage as I thought you would. Gulgaru! Let's see if Bash does anything. It's probably weak to Zeo, then we'll try that. Oh, what the fuck? You dare do that to me, you whore? Well, let's see, maybe Cleave. No nope, block, magic only, gotcha. Very mean. Then heal yourself. But if it's weak to Zeo, we'll try to build up to that. I have Zeo on. Oi moi Kane! Zeo! Not! Oh no. Let's see. Medicine. Yeah, medicine for you. Attack up. That's not good. I'm gonna try Pierce, just in case. Yeah. Nope. Alright, so... Zeo didn't work. Let's see. No, no. No. What's Patra? No. So... So yeah, Bufu didn't do anything, so I think we'll want to just boost. Ah, oh, it's one of the non-weak, annoying enemies. Well, first things first, I shall heal you. We shall do heals. And the boy will, I guess, burn him. Haha, <laughs> you missed, idiot! So we just want to go hard on him. Defeat it. 
Boo-foo. But I guess that's kind of why it has that stuff, so you can't, like, critical hit it and send it down. If it's meant to be the I-don't-get-hit-by-anything enemies. Well, that's bullshit, you asshole. Well, D.I.U., you will bring up ta uh, Takeba. Because we bought Revival Beads, bitch! Ha! Ah, missed again, idiot! Bitch! Fuckface! Fool! Jester boy! Go ahead and send medicine to me. Here. Yeah, hit him. He'll take that damage. Boo foo. You know, I'm going to be stupid. I want to equip my Orpheus. Ha! Perfect opportunity. I was smart. And you know what now? Aggie. Persona. You have the potential to grow even stronger. Damn right I do. Those portable have combined attacks like Condenza or Jack Brothers. We do have Condenza as an item, I think. Or does com uh, portable. I don't know, though. Balm of Life. I overall do not know. <laughs> Fun f random fact, in Persona 4, there were boss fights that were resistant to all out attacks. That seems mean. Oh, hey, items. Balm of Life. And Soma. What were these items that we got? Soma, fully restores HP and SP. Full, revives an ally, fully restoring HP. Honestly, that guy was infinitely less annoying compared to the level 10 fighters. Save state. Hmm. Let's see how far we can go. Huh? The structure on the next floor seems to be different. See what you can find out. Let's see how far we can go. Three enemies present. Don't get careless. But we mustn't be careless. Blast. We definitely need to heal Junpei. We didn't even get stufal time. But we did level up. Go. This poison. Into the corner you go to die. Three enemies detected. They appear to strike. Oh, that dang it. Three enemies remain. I'm kind of annoyed that, like, it's per character. Just one more. Slightly bothered by it, but I just that's a me problem. That's a skill issue, definitely. Who's the man? Interesting, that one wasn't like immediately aggressive. Damn it, it's a beetle again! 
Let's beat him up. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. I wonder if now that I have better weapons and stuff, I just remembered I could have gone back and uh, done fusion. Let's see. Let's go for money. Huh, this feels like a very short floor. It's a dead end. Good work, return to the entrance. Huzzah! Old document, that's for the quest. Help! A description of the document can be read in the glossary. <laughs> You're kidding? Oh, let's see. Person who used Jack Brothers in Portable, yes, you can buy uh, combined attacks, but you have to buy them. Like there's an antique uh, antique shop, and they sell the combined attacks. Oh, oh! Apparently, read it now. Let's see, into the glossary, I think, in the system. Old document one. The electricity's hooked up, but why do they need so much? There's only a school on this island. Huh. Interesting. Return! Huzzah! We did good. And we shall make Savstate. And I'll see... Well, first things first. Except request, because you j seem to have completed a request. Just a moment while I check. Well done. You managed to retrieve the first old document in time. Have you already read it? It's quite interesting. If not, then I definitely recommend you take a look. Please accept your reward. Beat chain. So somebody important to the diddly day. So yeah, next is just we have to take you on a date. And hopefully now that we're... Well, we can always, like, go through Tartarus however we want now. But I'll hold off on, like, fusing until we're, like, ready to do it again if we wanna. And now I need to find a way to do this. Oh, 5-2 will most likely be your chance to obtain it! Yes, tomorrow! Booyah. Booyah. Ooh, 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 yeah. Oh, wait. First, I want to read. Check progress. You've explored 16 levels in this tower. We've cleaned up as high as possible. Our goal has been achieved for now. Good job. And now, if I just want to, like, grind, I can. But booyah! I made up for all lost time. I've become tired, damn it. You overhear a conversation. Golden Week starts tomorrow. Have you got any plans? Eh, not really. But I'm not gonna miss tomorrow's show. Oh yeah, you mean Tanaka's show, right? When I hear that jingle, I can't resist buying something. Ah, uh, damn it! I don't have money to buy things from Tanaka's show, I guess. I never miss it when it's on Sunday afternoons. I'm going to go broke. Interesting. So Sunday, Tanaka's show turns on. Yeah, just same. First things first. Go into our time management save state. Make sure not to hit that load state like an idiot. You idiot! And just like, talk to everybody. My parents are bugging me to choose a college. Who decides that stuff in their junior year? I just, junior year? Junior year, I just started. They say the best way to make God laugh is to make a plan. I bet my parents have made him die laughing. Just realized I still haven't hung out with, like, uh, Rio sadness. You were invited to the student council. Mitsuru Senpai said so. I'm so jealous of you. I wish I could get invited. You think I should talk to her or something? You'd probably get murdered. Akihiko-senpai, his wounds must be from a fight, right? Right? 
I wish I could have seen it. I'd love to watch a real boxing match. I heard Akihiko Senpai was hospitalized. Why did I say it like that? Hospitalized. I don't know. My brain sa says that sounds weird. Did he get in a fight? If someone comes here saying Akihiko Senpai hurt him, would he be suspended? Luckily, he killed them. I guess I'll buy one more Yon Be Gone. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. There's a science teacher who brews his coffee in the test tubes. Never mind the taste. Shouldn't he be worried about the side effects? I mean, if they're clean, who cares? What do you want? You never seen a cell? What? You've never seen a cell phone? I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably be able to... Well, are you kidding? Thought so. Well, I'm busy, so maybe I can explain it next time. Out of curiosity, do you play fighting games on your channel, Neon? Not really. Mostly because, like, fighting against other people online... Like, first off, like, I haven't really played all that many fighting games, even though I want to. But the problem is... You can only really be a noob in a fighting game if it's relatively new. So like Tekken 8 or Street Fighter 6 right now. Because if you go into like Street Fighter 4 or like uh, Tekken 7 or Skullgirls or any of the Blaze Blues or the old Guilty Gears and not including Strive, you're only gonna run into old masters who are gonna kick your ass. Like, I guess there's like single player ones, but they're not as interesting. So it's just like, it's that kind of thing where I wanna play fighting games, but fighting games are expensive. I'm not learned in fighting games when it comes to like combos and strings and strategies. And like all of the fighting games I own are old. So all of the people I'd run into are masters. And it's just like nothing. <laughs> and yet there is a Persona fighting game. Nope. I've never seen anyone who didn't know what a cell phone was before. Well, I'm busy, so maybe I can explain it next time. Great, he's, he's useless to me. But first we're gonna go visit the nurse. I see, are you heading home now? Safe state. Yeah, I want to come. Sorry, I'm busy. I'm gonna back, going to uh, going to study for a while before I go back. Make sure you don't neglect your own studies. I know you have other things to worry about, but studying should be a student's number one priority. Mitsuru seems concerned about your study habits. Apparently, academics are very important to her. Perhaps if you were to a genius, she might hang out with you. But I'm dumb. I'm a fool. Do you see that girl over there? I think she's following me around. Hmm, how should I deal with this? down here, I guess. The first thing I do when I get to school is look for him. Just seeing him makes me smile. What should I do? How should I express my feelings for him? Murder him. That's the ultimate way. Alright, give me your courage inducer that doesn't fix up tiredness. It's almost like the game wants you to get tired, so you come here and get some courage boosts. Oh, I am now ordinary! Yay! My first level up! But I'm going to assume that... Since the game said this is like the ideal time to get the diddly D, It's probably up here. Small trees growing here. Seems to have a special meaning to the couple at the bookstore. Is it where their child man is dead? Actually, the nurse thing is a waste? Huh. I know the door reads, sorry, the girls' tennis club is no longer recruiting new members. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Hmm. 
Maybe I need to try every door. Going to the nurse doesn't even help you get over your tiredness. I tried it once, wasn't helpful. I figure that it's probably just like, hey. Like, I figure it's probably more just so that you get, like, the courage boost, right? Everyone knows I know is in a club, but I just can't be bothered to join one. They all say I'll make a lot of friends and all that, but I say whatever. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I keep forgetting that we can come up here. I assume that, like, the mention of, like, archery... Hmm, never mind. <laughs> I have to be average to enter there. To the laboratory. Well, it doesn't seem like the pine resin I'm looking for will be gotten here. Maybe it's sold specially today at some store? take Elizabeth on the mall date if I want to. I think you might have to talk to Yukari about it, and only chance you'll get to speak to her is during the evening. What games are available? Quiz game? I might do that. Because it says wait till dark, which would be evening. I wonder which is more valuable, studying in the library or doing the quiz game? Probably the quiz game because you have to actually spend money. Spend money! Oh, I know that we can go to the velvet room from the alleyway. Uh, did the couple, or like, not couple, but two people that were sitting here become goners? Asking around is the basic technique to gathering information, no matter how creepy the story is. So what about it? Got any uh, info about the mysterious incident? I don't know anything. How disappointing. My gut instinct told me you might know something about all this. She is a master investigator. Thank you. Oh, I'll have to set that up. There are lots of weird people out there too now. I heard it's the apathy syndrome victims, but they keep walking in front of the trains and stopping them from moving. I hate to see one of them jump in front of a moving train. Final destination time. Hey cat, I have food. Let me feed you. You fuck. I really like the FIMC's music that plays all around the areas you can visit it. Oh, I didn't even know. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense that, like, there's unique, like, music for her. But I never thought about it. It is good music, though. But yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do the... Since there doesn't seem to be anything else, we can, like, do the date. Probably talk to Yukari and get the resin, talk to her again. And then I guess maybe do a midnight, like, trivia game. <laughs> yes.
<laughs> Go on a date with Elizabeth. Ah, I've been expecting you. Shall we both be on our way? Paulonia Mall. Ah, yes. An intimate encounter with one of your world's rarities. The fountain. This must be the <laughs> fountain. Knew it. It makes sport of water, well known to all to be the foundation of life. How wicked. It's almost like she's a goth that's looking at something normal and going, this is the epitome of darkness and evil. It's rumored that its enchanting nature grants wishes to those who sacrifice a few coins. I wonder where that started. I think it's like related to wells. <laughs> hmm. Like, this is just like a date and not like a social link. Which would be interesting if you could, like, make a social link for her. <laughs> Watch her, she's gonna dump a bunch of coins. Where'd she get the coins? Is the real question. If you do the date, you'll still have time for afternoon activities. That's what I figured. Oh, this is just one of those special events that doesn't spend time? Oh, that's very nice. That is very, very cool. Did not expect that. But, <laughs> maybe so. Then I must try <laughs> it for myself. Look how many coins are you going to throw in there? I anticipated this and brought a good supply of Oh, she's coins. literally going to throw like a bucket of coins in. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins to be exact. 2,500 yen? You have like half a million yen in there? I shall make an opening bid to the fountain spirit of one oh, million. Oh, no, it was one million. I underestimated. I'm bad with math. Produced a bulging coin of purse. The torrent of coins is like a waterfall. I was so caught up in the excitement of tossing in coins that I hadn't given my wish any thought. This won't do. I shall give it more careful consideration before I return here in the near future. Insane. Hmm. What is this facility here? It is the policeman. There are some stern-faced gentlemen inside. The policeman who sells me weapons. These photographs displayed so prominently. Most wanted. Reward. Am I correct in thinking of these as your version <laughs> of my subjugation request? Kind of. <laughs> you don't kill them. I see. So <laughs> they must be captured alive. You've sated my curiosity. A club. This edifice over here. It can't be. Is this a club? A dance club. Dancers. Dictated by the sway of one's inner passions. A subterranean garden of uninhibited spectacle. Spectacle? Uh, no. It's not closed for business now, is it? Is it possible to do this at night and take her into the club? That would be kind of neat. Such a pity. I had hoped but it probably then would be like, oh, we don't have time ritual. for that. But still. Was it apparently unwilling to be dissuaded? Began an elaborate dance. Mm. Weird little lady. She one of the best persona characters bar none. Join me, won't you? Well, let's do it. Try and keep up. Unable to back down from Elizabeth's challenge, you decide to dance as well. Such dynamic, flexible gyrations. Please do not call them gyrations. I think I should give you a title, such as Master of the Dance. I am Ooh, master of the dance. That's quite satisfying, but I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Everything looks so new and inviting. Everywhere I look, something catches the eye. You just spend all your days and years in the velvet room, if don't you? I wouldn't mind. Perhaps you could recommend our next activity. Hmm. trying to think because at the carcade we could just play at the karaoke she'd be able to sing her heart out and I don't know if I'd get like any bonuses of like actually like if we went to the arcade I don't think I'd get any bonuses for like stats and stuff <laughs> karaoke let's do karaoke then karaoke. Uh, is that stop it stop it it is not karaoke it is karaoke 
You fiendish fiend! Are you in league with you carry about this? You Satan! You Satan! Satan! That is what you are! Stop, Kara! Okay! K E O T! A place where one can challenge even professional singers at the touch of a button? It seems the time has come to show you my hidden talents. <laughs> You're a masterful singer. Oh, excuse me, would you mind waiting for a moment? Oh no, it's called that in Japan? Well, they are wrong! I wasn't aware that there was a fountain <laughs> on this side as well. <laughs> this is just gifting thousands of yen to all the fountains. The torrent of coins is like a waterfall. You forgot to make a wish again! Hmm. Yet another fountain <laughs> on the opposite side. You're gonna be detained. I see. So this place is host to a trinity of fountain spirits. Elizabeth ran toward the fountain and started throwing coins in. I apologize for the wait. Let us continue. Let us go to the incorrectly! Yeah! You spent time singing karaoke with Elizabeth. Thank you for the invaluable experiences you've shared with me today. I consider this mission fully accomplished. You say it like that, and it's almost slightly disturbing. This may sound forward, but I'd like to accompany you again sometime. Sure, why not? As a platonic date. <laughs> Elizabeth, a.k.a. the coin goddess. You headed back to the Velvet Room with Elizabeth. Thank you for answering my request. Well then, thank you for showing me around Polonia Mall. That fountain. I still haven't made a decision on what to wish for. My master regrettably vetoed my wish to turn the Velvet Room into a club. And I wish so is set on it that thinking of something else is proving to be difficult. Oh, I finally come up with something. I'll wish to think of a wish. There, that wasn't so hard. Now as for your reward, I've prepared something special. With this, you confuse Huapo. She's a charming persona, combining the looks of a sweet girl with powerful abilities. Please accept your reward. Obtain small chiangasm. Is there anything else? I don't think so. And yep, it's still after school. <laughs> How was the first date? That was nice. She is an interesting character. Let's see. Enables the fusion of Hua Po, but how? But just like, it, 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 like I know that like, it. She's like, sure, it probably is called Kara Oke in Japan, but this is a dub. This is a dub. So, like, sure, you can keep saying things like saying Senpai and Chan and Kun for like honorifics to really give that like to like ease the like uh, what's the word. Like, adaptation to the West, because that way you kind of get the feeling of it being in Japan, but... Karaoke? But we'll quickly just, uh... Check out all the other places, since we have the time. Which is just the strip mall. See if there's anything else here. Ah, uh, great, it's another goner. This place is going to be invaded by goners, and they're just going to take over everything. Well, I guess I'll just do the trivia game for to get into the evening. But just to make sure that I don't mess up. Socialization. Savstate. Quiz Gamma. You tested your mastery of trivia. Your academics has greatly increased. I am now average! Or did that, like, skip, like, things? Sub, dude. Maybe. Three-day weekend starting tomorrow. I asked some peeps if they wanted to hang out, but the only ones interested were guys. 
Man, I know one. I don't want no sausage fest. I don't mean to interrupt, but I need to remind you that midterms are quickly approaching. You had best use your time wisely. Yeah, you had to remind me. Huh? Pine resin? You need some? Why would I have pine resin? Oh, okay, you mean the powder we use in Archery Club, right? The yellow stuff? We use it even in practices, so it runs out quick, but I think I have some left. Hang on. Here you go. Why'd you need it for anyway? Got a bow to take care of? Well, whatever. Yes. The damage you do will be different depending on which persona you use. Some personas have skills, other personas have physical abilities. Remember, it's important to use a persona that suits your style. Hey, you know how sometimes you feel great? Well, those are the best times to go to Tartarus, dude. You'll definitely kick a lot of ass. I don't think I've ever felt great in this game. Today is the Hachiju Hachia. The Hachijo Hachia means 88th night and marks the beginning of the late dew season. It's widely known that this time of year is when the best tea leaves are picked. The weather has been clear with no fog and the tea's flavor is excellent. There were many tea parties thrown around town in celebration. Tadra seems to have an unstable formation tonight. There may be more accidents than usual. Be on your guard. Talk! The amount of experience you gain will defer according to the number of members who are in battle. Therefore, fighting an enemy by yourself will gain you the most experience. The more experience you gain from fighting, the stronger you and your persona will become. You remember some of the questions from class? Those answers are going to help pass the exam if you do remember. Hmm. I wonder if my, like, academic stat will affect anything as well. Because I did level it up. God, I hope it doesn't want me to be a... Because, like, I wonder... Well, let me see. Wrong thing. Go to status. Because hopefully the game doesn't want me to be, like, I don't know, at level four academics to get, like, a bonus. <laughs> or look them up. That's also true. <laughs> if I really wanted to, I could probably do, like, a save state to try and do it semi-legitimately. But we're going to go back to the mall to turn in this quest. And then maybe do another round of trivia. I have pine resin for you. You seem to have completed a request. Just a moment while I check. Is that soybean powder? Uh, no, it must have been pine resin I requested. It does look like a soybean powder, though. It's so similar that even an expert of so <laughs> on soybean powder such as myself can't tell the difference. That's funny. Your reward for this assignment will be soybean powder. Ah, excuse me. I was just cooking something with soybean powder, so... Hmm, which hand was the pine resin in? My right or my left? They look so similar. <laughs> now she has pine resin and soybean and cannot tell the difference. Please accept your reward. Now, ultimate weapon for... And no other requests. Until more show up later in the month, probably. Let's see. I have 8,000 yen. Various games are inside. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. Because, well, there doesn't seem to be... Well, hmm. so let's see. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is customer. They're closed. There is karaoke. We just leveled up our diddly D. But I don't know. I don't know. Now they're like, you have to study. And they also want me to be a genius to talk to Akihiko. Oh, not Akihiko, Mitsuru. I don't know why. For some reason, my brain feels like Akihiko fits like Mitsuru for some reason. I say, as an insipid gaijin. But let's waste money, get a big boost to our academics again, like a fool. I want to become smart. 
Would have been hilarious if I leveled up twice from just doing it two. Ah, is evil gonna happen? Oh god, Aki's Link is funny as hell. <laughs> Can't wait for it. Your room. As you were dozing off, you felt someone's presence. Is it the little boy, Yuri Wolfenthal? One week from now, there will be a full moon. Ominous! What does that mean? Be careful. A new ordeal awaits you. Like, I know that, like, I assume that, like, the moon thing to, is to the right. But, well, thank you for the warning. What kind of ordeal? You will encounter one of them. Oh, no. One of the siblings of him from Powerpuff Girls, I guess. You must prepare for the ordeal. But time is of the essence. I'm sure you're aware of that, of course. Am I? Am I really? I'll come see you again when it's over. Goodbye for now. Who even are you? The boy disappeared. <laughs> I'm still tired. Today is Constitution Day. It's the beginning of Golden Week. You are called that a home shopping pro- I have no money. I have no money! I am a fool. No money. An irritatingly catchy song comes from the speakers. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. The home shopping show is evidently about to start. Help! The home shopping show airs every Sunday. You can buy whatever you see on TV, you broke bitch. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Home Shopping Show, Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Granter of your desires. Why does that feel ominous? Granted, he's a capitalist, so it should be ominous. I'm your host, Tanaka, with a live presentation of my amazing commodities. We'll show you great items at unbeatable prices. Oh, you won't be able to touch that dial. Let's bring out our item of the day. Yawn be gone. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness, but wait, there's more! We'll throw in two muzzle drink for only 1,000... That's like... Like, I guess that's like decent for the muscle drink, but I don't care about muscle drink, and... Yawn Be Gone is only 1,000, so I'll skip. No. Next time, we'll bring you a set of two rare cards that your kids will be dying to own. See you next Sunday. Interesting. Very interesting. So I'm gonna guess these days are gonna also be like three of shenanigans. Akihiko's injuries will take longer to fully heal. Will you be able to fight with only three members until he returns? Of course. C'est magnifique. Then I'll be counting on you. Pay attention to the size of a shadow. The bigger it is, the more enemies there are inside it. And watch out for those red shadows. They're very powerful, so don't underestimate them. Know what you're getting into before you attack one. But what if I want to kick its ass? And of course, emergency safe state in case things go wrong. What's up? You doing anything today? Hmm, that's probably him. Like, this is probably a chance to hang out with him. Presumably. I'm gonna reload, because I don't want to say no, because I'm a coward. Because I know we can't return, but that's why we made the save state. So if, like, if there's anything interesting out here, we can maybe do that. If there's nothing interesting, we can just load the save state and do that instead. Like, we could hang out with the old couple. I wonder, like, uh... You have anything to say? The station workers always remind me to tell my customers to keep the station clean. Seems like there's a lot of littering going on these days, so I shouldn't say anything. 
Is something wrong? Nah, I ain't about to lecture my fares. If I did, no one would want to ride in my cab. And the customer's always right, you know. Actually, I f believe it's the customer is always right in circumstances of taste, is the full quote or something like that. The power of technology to experience persona. It alleviates a slight bit of uh, anxiety. Because I guess I could still just like, if I didn't like what happened, just reload the save. But that would like take some effort. Save states are quicker. The station people don't care about us either. My teacher doesn't assign us homework. We're moving on to junior high next year, and I'm worried. Doesn't sound good. Yeah, there's a difference between taking it easy and goofing off. If he wants to be popping with the students, he should just talk to them more often. He should be a decent human being instead of a bitch. Oh, hey, Yukari's out. Because I think I, like, chat said that I could begin Yukari's, like, diddly D, like, early as the uh, female main character. But normally you would uh, only begin it after a certain event as the male protagonist. So I think I'll... Also, I just realized something. Could Tartarus... Well... Obviously, Tartarus is connected to the school because it rises out of the school at night. But, like, that one, like, diddly-dee. That was, like, the ancient document. That, like, a hefty amount of energy is put into the damn thing. Those youngsters look like their souls have been taken. They better stop lounging around like that. They should go out and make some friends and enjoy life! What if they don't want to enjoy life? What if they want to die? Part here Monday through Friday. Because it's Sunday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday for you. I guess I'll reload and hang out with the boy. Nope. I'm so bored, dude. I can't believe that I don't have anything to do during Golden Week. Ah, oh, it wasn't even a thing. <laughs> sure am. Damn you, you backstabber. I'm gonna be all alone, by myself. I'll die from loneliness. I thought it was a hangout potential. You betrayed me! Like, I guess I could uh, hang out with the old couple. Or do work. We'll see. I still have the save. Let's see. Since you have the higher fence, the three will get along well. Would you like to spend your lunch at the bookstore? Yes. You decide to spend lunch at the bookstore. Iwato Dai Strip Mall Bookworms Used Books. We've yet to buy any books here. You'd think that would help my... You know it'd be funny if you got like minor like uh stat boosts depending on who you hung out with. So like you hang out with them and you're like uh since it's a bookstore you get bonus academics just hanging out with them. I think that'd be neat. I think that would be cool. That's strange. I swear I left it around here. But I can't seem to find it. Hmm. Cleaning the store, looking for something. I think looking for something is the more helpful. Because, like, why would you say, oh, are you cleaning the cleaning the store while you're looking for something? I don't know. It just seems like a weird thing. Looking for something? Neon Chan, how'd you know I was looking for something? Are you psychic? No, I think that would be Igor. The weird-looking guy in a weird-looking room. When Kichi seems rather surprised. I'm looking for my glasses. They're on your face. Oh, but no. no, not my glasses. My wallet. I can't seem to find it. Hmm. Well, obviously I'll help you find 
Uh, I'll help you look for it. I'll help you look for it. Wow, Neon Chan, you really can read minds. I was just thinking it'd be nice if someone gave us a hand. <laughs> Bunkichi seems rather surprised. You search for the wallet with Bunkichi and Mitsuko. Where could it be? Wait, what were we looking for? Konnichiwa, hello! Oh, Konnichiwa, hello! I found this on the ground outside. Is it yours? Hey, it's the French guy from school. The mysterious foreigner handed a wallet to Bunkichi. Wow, this is it. I've been looking for this wallet everywhere. Well, it's not a golden wallet, but I'm still happy to have it back. So must... Sumimasan, excuse me. Aren't you the transfer student everyone is talking about? I go to this in school, Gekukan. Well, I'd say nice to meet you. I came here from France to study abroad. My name is Andre Laurent Jean Mijero. But they call me Baby. Well, I guess uh, nice to meet you. Hajibabashite. It is nice to meet you too. I work in the Elm Economics room every day. If you get bored, come say hello. I hope to see you there. Sayonara, goodbye. Wait, if we're average now, doesn't that mean that we should be able to read the thing at the school, actually? Bebe has left the store. Well, he seemed like an interesting young man. I thought I put it in my wallet so I wouldn't lose it. Ah, here it is. I knew it was here. Dear, is that key for... Come on. Come on, dear. You know what it is. It's the key for our son's car. Senior Chan reminded me of how things used to be. I haven't heard the roar of the engine in a long time. How do I look, dear? Please don't. Why must you get into a car? Do you want me to end up all alone? What about a car? Um, Neon Chan, I'm sorry for raising my voice. Did I scare you? Ah, son, remember what I told you? How he passed away. On the way home from work, he got into an accident. He was hit by a dump truck driver who was drunk on the job. I'm so sorry to hear that. Neon Chan, please slap me. Slap me for being an insensitive fool. With all my excitement, I forgot to consider how my wife might feel. I'm such a... such a... It seems Black Bunkichi feels guilty. Bunkichi Mitsuko told you the truth about their son's death. Your relationship is stronger now. Even if it ended kind of sadly. <laughs> that... that... that one. Rank up. The old couple social link has reached level 3. Your power to create personas of the Hierophant Arcana has grown. <coughs> it's getting dark out. Why should we let this get us down? Since I found my wallet, why don't we eat out, dear? Thanks for searching with us, Neon Chan. Consider this your allowance. Aw, oh, medicine. Thank you. After saying goodbye to Bunki uh, yeah, Bunkichi and Mitsuko, you decide to go back to the dorm. Where have you been? With old people. And Neon, if it's okay asking, what do you think of Pal World? Personally, I'm not a big fan of it, mostly because it seems to be just a slapdash, like, a step up from an asset flip, but only barely so. Like, I know some people defend it, like, uh, Nintendo doesn't own the concept of, like, a wolf or a lion, but it's just, like, far too many of Pal World's assets resemble one-to-one -one aspects of certain Pokemon. And it's just like, it's not just a, like, aesthetic or even a design philosophy. It is that one looks like a, a Luxray. That one looks like a Mewtwo. That one looks like this Pokemon, or like even pieces of them. Because, like, when certain pals actually look original, they look pretty nice. They look pretty good. The problem is, far too many of them, especially the ones that are just, like, out there, like, look like a ripoff Salazzle, look like a ripoff Lucario. So it's just, like, 
it taints my, like, the taste of the thing. Not to mention the gameplay just looks like shit. It's just your generic open world, like, base builder farming sim, but with edge. And, like, while I, from what I hear, they didn't use AI to make PAL World, like, any of the assets, the, like, head person of the world, of the uh, company making PAL World is a big proponent of using AI. And considering that a lot of the PALs look like ripoff, like, Pokemon, considering, like, like, they look like rip-off Pokemon. They look like they traced certain assets of Pokemon. Like, as much as people tried to defend it, there were some pieces that looked like they were straight ripped off of a Pokemon model. It's like, one person saying, if you were tracing the model, you wouldn't have made, like, these specific things as well. Like, they're not one-to-one -one all the time, but they are one-to-one -one in places, and it's weird. But people will claim, see, this is a Pokemon game for older people. We don't want Pokemon with guns. We want Pokemon with darker themes. Exactly. Like, I want Pokemon with deeper stories. Like, I don't even want Pokemon with swearing and blood. I want Pokemon that deals with, like, deeper, like, concepts and, like, themes and stuff. That's why I really, really like, uh, blah, blah, blah. That's why I really, really like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Because Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, like, kind of has those aspects and, like, feeling deeper on an emotional level. But, yeah, it's just, like, also if you look at the company that made Pal World, their previous game also had pretty much, like, rip-off Buckoblins from, like, Breath of the Wild. The company that made Pal World is just a tracing machine that uses basic bitch gameplay. Like, basically, you could probably yoink the code from some kind of, like, hey, get you started this kind of gameplay style code pack. They slapped it in, made small alterations, and, like, put all their effort into designing certain, like, not Pokemon. And again, some of the pals do look interesting, when they're not obviously evoking Pokemon. Like, again, the rip-off, the rip-off, sexed-up Salazzle rip-off. The, again, the Lucario one. The one that has the, I think, Galarian Meowth's-like face. It's just, like, a lot of assets. <laughs> I'm sorry I brought it up in the first place. No, it's perfectly fine, because I like talking about it. <laughs> I like it. I enjoy, like, rambling about things. I enjoy rambling about topics that I feel like I have things to say about. I dread if they try to make a Shin Megami Tensei ripoff. I don't, I don't think they would because Shin Megami Tensei is more in-depth. It, it's easier to make a shitty third-person shooter farming base building sim with Pokemon ripoff mechanics than it is to make like an actual in-depth RPG. Because so many farming sims and base building sims are already kind of surface level basic bitch. That Pal World being basic bitch in that way as well, like, it doesn't set off like, oh, this is kind of a ripoff and scam kind of senses. Whereas if you played a shallow Shin Megami Tensei ripoff, you would know that it's a sh like, also... There's a vastly bigger audience for kind of the catch-all, like, genre that Pal World is compared to the niche RPG of Shin Megami Tensei. Basically, a company, like, the company that makes Pal World, I don't even know their name, they only make shitty little rip-offs based off of very popular game genres. Like, again... That kind of Breath of the Wild ripoff with the obvious Bok Goblin like traces. Pal World, that is ripping, like, uh, going along with the trend of base building, farming, just mixed in with Pokemon. 
Because, like, the idea of having an open world, like, base building farming sim, but you actually catch Pokemon, like, monsters, and they help you in your, like, farming and everything, or in battles, that would be cool. But it's just basic bitch edgelord asset flip, code flip kind of vibes you get from it. There was, like, one person on the team that actually wanted to create interesting Pokemon, like, inspired creatures, and then everybody else was just like, how many pieces of a Pokemon can we stick onto this guy? At least that's what I feel. You can still enjoy Pal World, but the only reason Pal World was successful was because of spite. Because people are like, eh, Pokemon isn't doing enough. It's just like, what do people want Pokemon to do? Like, yes, have deeper stories, but what kind of mechanics would people want Pokemon to do? Do people really want Pokemon to become open world? Because the way it already is, like, I liked Legends Arceus. I like, like, from the looks of things, I kind of like how they did the world in Scarlet and Violet. I don't want a Bethesda Pokemon game. I don't want a big, empty, open world game for Pokemon. I don't want, like, mindless Pokemon. Like, again, I have no idea what people want out of Pokemon when they're just like, eh, Pokemon's just doing the same thing again. It's just like, yeah, because people like Pokemon. People enjoy kind of the, the, the flavoring of Pokemon, even though, again, Pokemon can indeed strive to do better in many places, like, have better animations. Because honestly, I wouldn't mind if, like, the models took a slight hit if they focused more on the presentation of life with the Pokemon. But also it doesn't help that Pokemon is probably hard to make for because there's so many Pokemon in there and they have to choose which ones they want to update or how many they want to actually include. It's a complicated thing. But I feel like Pal World was only successful because people were like, this thing is like 1% Pokemon. We're gonna buy that and show Nintendo and Game Freak. And it's just like, and you haven't heard of it ever again. It was just a flash in the pan spite ripoff. With somebody trying to rip off its success and coming at the right time where there was like a, like a, a substantial group of people that are angry at the Pokemon brand for not making, like, revolutionary Pokemon games, when that's never really been Pokemon. Like, even all the way back on in Generation 1, the Game Boy was pr very, very old by the time Generation 1 was made. And then, like, Generation 2 came out on the same console. And it's just like... Pokemon has relatively played it safe. And that's worked for them because they just go for, like, a decent, solid experience that isn't, like, too crazy. And then, like, maybe the spin-offs can go crazy, like that tactics crossover with a... I forget, like, War of the Roses-inspired, like, RPG series or something, which made, I think, Pokemon Conquest. And then, like, there's the technically a spin-off, like, uh, 3D console ones on the GameCube, like Gales of Darkness and uh, Colosseum. They got to do, like, interesting little mechanics of, like, catching Pokemon and not having many, like, rare, like, uh, random encounter Pokemon. And then again, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Like, sure, I'd say continue to critique what needs to be critiqued with Pokemon releases, but... Despite buying Pal World isn't going to make Game Freak do anything. Like, again, how many of the people who bought Pal World were just like, Yeah, that's what Pokemon needs. Guns! Because, like, maybe you could do a Pokemon game where, like, that's set in a grittier world. So, like, a trainer carries, like, a handgun on them for self-defense alongside their Pokemon. But... Like, it just feels like it's forced and takes away from the Pokemon aspect. 
You don't need guns. You have a dragon that can outfly a fighter jet. Why do you need a pistol? Or a machine gun? You have God in your pocket. Wait, it's just funny how, like, Pal World only, like, existed initially. Like, when it first had that trailer, it was like, ah, oh, this is edgy 4chan Pokemon with ripoff designs. And then people going, it's not a ripoff. A decent chunk of them were ripoffs or had aspects that were rips off, rip off. Whether in, like, body typing that was obviously aping. Like, either they were obviously trying to clone a certain Pokemon, like, again... The one that technically isn't Salazzle, but is obviously trying to be Salazzle. The one that isn't Lucario, but is obviously trying to be Lucario. And then ones that look like they basically have, like, eyes or mouths and other body parts that look like they were traced off of the Pokemon. Hell, oh, there is a 4chan Pokemon ROM hack. That's funny. That's cooler looking than Pal World, Pokemon Clover. I don't think I've ever heard of it. But that's actually funny, though, because... That's also another thing. Because... A Pokemon ROM hack... Has a lot more soul than Pal World. Because... Pal World... Like, here's the thing. I think Pal World could have worked... If they were earnest in trying to make it. Because if they wanted to make, like, Pokemon-styled designs in this kind of gameplay type, I think it could have worked if their, like, passion for the game really shone through in the designs and in the gameplay. But again, Pal World is just one-half asset flip, one-half asset ripoff. Because, again, it honestly feels like they just bought the coding packs to, like, base building and third-person shooting and everything. And then tweaked it enough that they, like, functioned all together and then put in their rip-off designs. Again, not all of the designs are rip-offs, but so many of them and so many of the prominent ones that, like, it kind of weighs against it. I don't think that I've ever seen a single original Pal World design break out of, like, the Pal World sphere. Because it's kind of like how the gotcha game that Hoyoverse is making, Zinless Zone Zero, that's coming out next month. The furry character, Von Lycaon, broke the gotcha and Hoyoverse, like, social media ring into the wider internet. Like, hey, look at this gotcha furry that everybody's simping over. And it's just like, I've never seen that happen for, to a Pile World design. And I think that speaks volumes. Because again, there's probably plenty of Pile World designs that have no, like, obviously trying to be this Pokemon and doesn't have any obviously traced aspects from Pokemon. But none of them stand out enough that anybody outside of Pal World have talked about it. And I just like, I, that's how I measure it, kind of. Just, Pal World doesn't look interesting from a gameplay perspective. The people, like, the vocal head people in development that I've heard about seem like scumbags. Far too many of Pal World's defenders were assholes in a kind of yeah take that game freak uh, you just hate pal world because you're sucking off game freak uh, kind of that kind of person that they're defending what pal world was doing not because they believed it but because they hated pokemon and like how pokemon has become and i think i would be more lenient towards pal world if that wasn't just the whole thing Pal World is just the perfect storm of bad vibes. Again, the only thing they're innocent of is using AI so far, specifically in Pal World. But again, like the head guy of the game development studio, 
very happy to try and use AI to make things. <laughs> uh, but yeah, back to Persona. The mini neon icy wing podcast on... Ra it was like how I rambled about AI art during the, I think... Was it near Automata? I think it was near Automata. Yeah, I think it was near Automata that I rambled about AI art. But we shall save. I do enjoy how many save like slots they give you. Which is kind of interesting because you only really save in a handful of places. Let's see what's on TV. Next time on Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, episode 11, a dangerous game. You're flying too much, Featherman. He's become addicted to flying. We have to shoot him down with a punt gun. And now the news. Today, we'll look at the epidemic of youth depression, including an interview with the leader of the... I can't believe they shot him. Different weapons have different uses. The Naginata you have is very balanced in terms of speed and range. It's a very standard weapon. Hey, you know how sometimes you feel great? Yeah, I think we already know about that. He seems to run out of dialogue pretty fast. Yeah, we already know that. Oh, I like his casual outfit. His casual outfit's nice. I'd say talk. Will take longer to feel here? I'd say, yep, of course. Hello, Shuji. It's been a bit. Ikutsuki. Do you have any idea what a chairman does? I'm so busy I don't have much time for my research. That's why I'm do going to dedicate this entire weekend to analyzing data. My only companion will be a robot. Hmm, perhaps I'll turn into a robot too. <laughs> I don't think there's much out to do on a Sunday. Like nothing to work at night. Might as well look. See if there's anything new in the club. Doesn't look like there's anything new. You got anything to say? Tell me my fortune. Full face trigger, heading directly to its target, unknown to me. Yeah, basically the same thing again. And we can't work because... And I don't really want to spend my money, but let's see what's available again. Punching bag. So basically, I think just, like, stat increases to, like, your personas. I guess I could do karaoke or have a coffee to raise my charm. Hmm. Since I'm tired, there's a chance that trying to study could backfire. <laughs> God damn the P uh, Persona 3 movies. There's multiple movies? I hated watching them somewhat. I do recommend them, though, only once you've played Persona 3, though. I didn't know that they had movies. Interesting. That's funny. <laughs> you hate them somewhat, but still recommend them. That is amusing. Hmm. Well, just in case, I shall make a save state. Even though I am tired. I shall try to study and see if it works. If not, I will never, ever, ever study while tired again. Nope, it just seems like it's impossible to study while tired. At least that's the vibe I get. Or maybe it's just like a very low chance, which is kind of sad. I'm forced to use money. I have to go get charming cafe. I wonder if Persona 5 got like an anime or a movie. Because I know Persona 5 is very popular. The only thing I couldn't stand was how they made Junpei an asshole for some of it. And always trying to one-up the main character, uh, Matuku. 
Matoko. Elizabeth was cool, though. Interesting. My charm hasn't crossed, eh? To mound, day. Eh? Oh, I'm not tired anymore. I can study! Today is Greenery Day. It's the second day of Golden Week. Anything on TV? There's nothing good on. We just woke up. Guess I can just go to the lounge. Use the fast forward. Hi, I'm Trish, or today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is a 20-year-old girl with bright blonde hair. They say her sister used to be a famous idol. I wonder what it's like to have a relative like that. Next is news. Pain, pain, go away. It sounds like she's gone insane and wants to murder us all. And of course, emergency safe state in case things go wrong. There was a shopping program on TV on Sunday. Did you happen to catch it? They offer some pretty good things for a decent price. It might be more useful than you'd think. Uh, but there's nothing interesting on TV today. Damn it, if only I weren't hurt. There are plenty of things to do. Man, you just got laid out. When you have all the team members dispersed, you will be alone. During these times, you may encounter an enemy, so if you think you're in danger, use request help immediately. When you do, I will contact the others and request that they assist you. Interesting. Although I'm more afraid of, like, my allies getting annihilated while alone. Or more accurately, I'm afraid of poor... Ah, what's her name? It just slipped my mind. We can just come here. Status. Yukari. I'm afraid of Yukari being annihilated. Like, if I, if it comes down to, oh, I could work. Hmm. On the one hand, I want to see if there's, like, anybody to actually hang out with. Oh, hey, it looks like Junpei is available. Might do him. Level up his thing a little bit. And then I can work in the evening. I wonder what's available in here, though. Print club punching bag. Because hmm. I can work at B Blue V or the cafe. I wonder if just working at the cafe raises your charm. Because I don't think I've worked there yet. I think I've only worked at B Blue V and uh, this place. Which increased my, I think, academics. And the only day I wonder if I could work there. Today. I'm not very intelligent. I came to catch a movie with my bud, but he said he couldn't make it. So that's today down the drain. We're gonna try again tomorrow. Why does he have the worst luck on my days off? I guess he doesn't want to hang out. Just to play it safe, I'm gonna go talk to Yukari. Any other you here by yourself too? Me too. Hanging out with friends is nice, but it's important to get some alone time too. I do enjoy that you can just find them out and about. Now let's see if we can work at the... Because it doesn't seem like there's much to, like, do. I wish that I could give you food, dear cat! You are weakly mewing! Hmm, I did raise my courage. I wonder if I can, like, walk into these places. Because I assume it's dark down there. Nope. Let's see. Let's work until evening. Port Island Station Movie Theater. You sweated it out by working part-time at the ticket counter and showing customers to their seats. You dealt with a mass of customers at the souvenir shop in the short amount of time prior to showtime. Academics! If you like zombies and the posters or the horror flicker staring at you. 
hilarious. That increases that. And it gives me lots of money. Wow, like nobody's here. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen it empty before. Well, Sabe State. Yeah, I've just never seen it empty before. I wonder if that means something. That, like... One thing, though, I should do this before I forget. Siren Song. Now you can do major damage. So maybe I'll have to worry about you less if we ever want to do Tartarus. But I'm going to quickly, like, go through the dorm, I guess. Oh, wait, I should go, actually... Is there anything different at the club? Nothing different at the club. It's the same thing all day. Every day. Now let's see. Let's go to the command room and work our way down. Oh, hey, you're here. What's the matter? I'm training to enhance my ability to detect the enemy. There's no excuse for being unprepared. We can't afford to let ourselves be surprised. Hmm. Everyone's status. Everyone can go tonight. Interesting. Just never seen the lounge empty before. Why can't I go to the roof? Are they afraid? Oh, here they are. Huh. Don't you sometimes wish you could know the order of action during battle? Yes! I have said it multiple times! Well, lucky for you, I have an awesome way of finding this out. Yeah, except that only works a little bit. Only a little bit tells me the next move. Help! Press the R button during a battle to see the turn of events for both your enemies and allies. You already knew. Knowing the order action is key to winning a battle. Yeah, a good example is when both sides are exhausted. If we have the first attack and can expect to do a lot of damage, then we should go on the offensive. If not, then it's smarter not to attack and just focus on healing. Always thinking two steps ahead when planning your battle strategy will lead to victory. Different weapons have different uses. Yep, you already said that. We can go to Tartarus, but I don't know if we should. Let me go to my, like, room just to, like, look at the calendar. Because if something happens on the full moon... Hmm. I've been going for a while, so maybe we can start off next stream by going to Tartarus tonight to do, like, some free roam grinding and fusing. Like, I can fuse Nekomata and somebody else, get Nekomata back with something, I don't know. Fusing is gonna, like scare me. Like, at least until we get the compendium. But I don't know when we get the compendium. Because, like, if we got the compendium and I could even put a handful of like diddly Ds away for safekeeping, like, I don't know, just like... It, then again, we shouldn't have anything to really worry about from enemies in Tartarus. Because we're all, like, we have good weapons. Hmm. 
but I don't know if you have to, like, actively put a persona into the compendium. Wait, you don't have the compendium net? No! Like, I have no idea. Like, is it something I can miss? If it is, I'd be furious. Because, like, uh... Because I just remember being told that there was, like, a way to get Personas back. But yeah, there's, like, maybe maybe I need to talk to you? Maybe I need to do Triangle for the first time? I don't know. Why the hell would I want to fuse Pixie to Orpheus to get Epsaurus? Like, I can only assume that the compendium, like, retroactively puts any personas that you found already in there, like, if you fused away your Orpheus. But still. <coughs> I think you get it after the full moon boss. Then I think that I will hold off. Like, maybe Fuse, Angel, and Epsaurus, and Pixie. Like, next time that we go to... Like, Tartarus? Hmm. Which could be... So yeah, I think... What we'll do, since we are almost at four hours... Next time, we'll do a... Tartarus run, just maybe from the beginning, just to get random items and fusion material, and then just like, uh, use the teleporter to, like, come back down, like, yeah, next time we'll begin, and I'll probably fuse, like, Pixie and Angel or somebody, and then go through, gather up a handful of extra, like, Pixie, Epsaurus, or Angel. And just, like, full clear-ish some parts of Tartarus for items, money, experience. Especially because now that Yukari has Siren Song, I think that she should be able to handle herself for the most part, unless... Tartarus gets more dangerous the closer to the full moon is. Because uh, Mitsuru has been saying that Tartarus feels, like, unstable. But, yeah. I think that's what we'll do. Because I think we made decent progress. I think. We've gone, like, five days. We went into Tartarus a few times. We got to the end of the block of Tartarus. We filled out all of the requests for, like, uh, Eliz... Oh, is, is there his name Elizabeth? My memory is jank. <laughs> Thanks for the stream, and thank you for watching. But yeah, next time we'll begin by going into Tartarus, doing fusions, gathering items and stuff. And uh, just hope that everybody is good to go by the time... Whatever the full moon happens, the full moon happens. I do have some yawn begones for like a full team if we really must. Hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, I think that'll be it for now. I'm going to make a double save, just in case. Save. Just in case something happened and I was a fool. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I think I've been pretty good at holding that so far. If you want other things from me, my link tree, which can be found in, like, the description of various places, bios, link places of various sites, and it holds basically everything that I do, like my edited content YouTube channel that I swear I'm going to make edited content for at some point. My streaming Twitch and streaming YouTube, depending on your preference. And then all of these streams get uploaded to the streaming YouTube for posterity and quality. Like, in case my internet dies, I can still have the full stream ready to go. And then, if you want art from me, my, like, my little character in the corner, I throw 
art that I draw to various art sites and just social medias. And if you want to read stories I have doth written, various places I've thrown writing to can be found in my link tree and my Patreon, which is just a little donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind, is linked there as well. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching everybody, giving me advice and aid, like easing my worry about fighting that one guy who apparently is just typeless and had no weakness, but was uh, immune to everything physical. That was kind of... Uh, actually, I can't say it was annoying. It was immensely easier than the level 10 bosses. <laughs> but, yes. Just remember, everybody, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>